is going to be my uh, first project of the new year, 2019. Um, this is a tray that I picked up this past summer at a garage sale. It's a metal tray um, and it's got these feet on the bottom and I have been thinking about it for months and envisioning what it might look like. And I want to do something that's going to kind of fit with the aesthetic I have going on right now in my own home. Um, so let me uh, get started by um, showing you some of the things that we're going to need for this project. Um, first of all, I've got my hot beverage because I'm actually working in my, um, my garage at home and it's freezing out here. <laughs> so I've got my hot drink, that's a must. Um, I've got some um, latex gloves because I'm going to be doing some sanding and then some spray painting. I've got two colors that I'm going to go with. Um, I've got this um, dark steel color and uh, this glossy red. Um, I've got some uh, safety goggles because I like to wear those when I'm sanding. Um, some painter's tape so that I can um, tape off sections that I don't want covered. Um, and I've got the orbital sander um, and as well as so I've got a little foam block because I might not be able to get into some of the corners, the angles and crevices. So that's, oh, and one other thing. Um, I've uh, gone ahead and I've made a paper template that fits inside of the tray. And once I get this painted, I'm actually going to make a wooden insert to fit right into the tray. So I'll cover that a little bit later once we get the whole thing painted.
insert that I'm working on now for the inside of the tray. Um, I've opted to have this image that I've come up with um, engraved rather than painting it on or using vinyl lettering. I just love the look of this. Unfortunately, the tray is so big, which is also why I love it, but it's so big that it doesn't fit the size that the engraver takes, so I had to find some scrap pieces of wood that I could then have sandwiched together. Um, so we just joined these, but I don't have a planer, so I had to take it to a local shop where they could actually do that for me. Um, and so now I'm sort of at the point where it's glued and you'll see that there's a lot of burn marks and, and glue. So I'm gonna, at this point, uh, cut out the wood to fit the tray. And I've used the paper, um, the paper uh, piece that I've traced from the tray previously, the little stencil and, so I've already uh, drawn on the corners. I'm gonna cut that, and once that's done, I'm gonna sand the whole piece smooth, so hopefully all of this glue will come off and the uh, smoky burnt part of the engraving. So finally, I've got this board finished, this insert. Um, I've had to do a lot more sanding than I, than I had planned simply because um, the edges of the tray as it goes down is angled and so I had to sand it underneath to make sure that it was gonna fit nicely. Uh, hopefully if you're doing a project like this, you can find a tray that's nice and straight around the edges. If not, you'll have to do a little extra sanding as well. Uh, so now I'm just going to do a little finishing touch here. I'm going to use some mineral oil. Um, you can find this at most drugstores would have this in the pharmacy section. Uh, you can find this um, at Walmart as well. Um, so I'm just going to take a rag and rub some on. And you wanna use this instead of uh, any other kind of finish because it's healthy or safe, I should say, if you have food on it. You could use it as uh, a tray or serving board directly for food. Also hoping that this oil should help bring out the color, which I can see that it's doing. It's bringing out the grain. Um, I'm gonna get a nice coat on and then I'm gonna use another dry rag and uh, wipe it down again. Flip it over.
really liking how it brings out the grain of the wood and deepens the color. Okay, now I'm gonna get a dry rag. finished tray. I'm super happy with how this paint color turned out. The glossy red is beautiful, so I'm thrilled with that. And the silver looks nice. I'm so pleased with that. It's got a bit of a rustic feel to it. I don't mind the fact that the, the metal has sort of bumps and such in the corner, so it's a little rough. I love that. And now I'm just going to put the wooden insert right in there. And it fits nicely, and I'm super happy with this. I can see enjoying this a lot for uh, summer uh, picnics and barbecues. Great.